please say my new personal activation word. Voice assistants have a very long history that goes back over 100 years, which might seem surprising as apps such as CD have only been released within the past 10 years, but that's the fact. Before we get into why voice assistants have female voices, a quick recap of voice assistant timeline. Okay, so now that we know that the first voice activated product was released in 1922, let us come to the point. Why do these voice assistants on phone have default female voices? Does knowing the reason matter? Well, yes, when all voice assistants from Siri to Alexa to Cortana all have it, understanding the reason is a must. The first voice a child can identify is the mother's voice when we are in the womb. Alongside, there is an interesting analogy behind it. The part females have been playing into historical gender roles make female voice important. When we hear a female voice, our trust is automatically built. Female voices sound neutral and they aren't distracting. Most importantly, Though the voice assistant like bodies, yet when we hear a female voice, a picture of competent, efficient and reliable women comes up. This creates trust. Women tend to articulate vowel sounds more clearly. People are conditioned to expect women, not men, to be in administrative roles. It is much easier to find a female voice that everyone likes than a male voice that everyone likes. Female voice also gives peace of mind and makes one feel like they are talking to a cute person with non-threatening qualities. Come on, you have to give us this one. Most voice assistant companies will confirm this. Overall, they say people like female voices better and they are not wrong because research shows the same and more than 90% people like it. But if all this is true, why now we have male voices too? Simple, it is not that all prefer female voices and voices trigger the stereotype. Therefore, now we have both. Do you think this can be the future? Okay, so that was about female voice. Now, let us talk about the advantages and disadvantages of voice assistants. Starting with the pros first. Number 1. Keep your home safe. You can connect your virtual assistant to your smartphone security devices to make it easier to keep your property safe. Number 2. Save money on your energy bills. Yes, you heard that right. Virtual assistants can control smart home devices including next generation lighting options. You could hook up a smart thermostat such as Nest to Google Home or Alexa and tell your VPA when you are leaving the house so that your heating gets turned off. Number 3. Save money on flights. You might just be able to nab yourself a bargain holiday by asking your smart speaker. For example, asking Google Home. Ok Google, how much are flights to New York? will prompt the speaker to ask a few follow-up questions about your preferences. After which, you'll receive an email about prices from Google Flights. Amazing, isn't it? Alexa-powered devices, meanwhile, can be used to search for bargains using travel search engine like Skyscanner. Number 4. Save money on your Uber. Once you have set your default pickup location, you can hail a cab from home by simply saying, Alexa, ask Uber for a ride. Now talking about the cons. Initial cost could outweigh savings. While it is possible to make both time and cash savings using these virtual assistant devices, they don't always come cheap. 
they come with a price tag number 2 our security could be an issue voice assistants record everything you say this helps gives proper results thereby putting privacy at risk number 3 voice recognition is not perfect voice recognition has come a long way in recent years and amazon and google stack is among the best so far however it is still not perfect and you might find that you still have to occasionally repeat yourself to make the smart speaker understand your command number 4 a microphone in your home the always on speakers don't record or send your voice commands until you use the wake word such as alexa but if having a microphone constantly listening bothers you it can be easily turned off for privacy what's more a record of each voice command can be easily reviewed and deleted So this was all about virtual assistants why they have default female voices and what benefits and weaknesses they have we hope you enjoyed the video do share your thoughts in the comment section below